My name is Morgan Cathy, and I'm the managing director of Freeway Football, formerly a goalkeeper for IX Cape Town. I was playing for a team in the States called Ambassadors in Sport. They had a vision to send guys to different places in the world to use uh, soccer as a platform within their organization. Colin Haberton, who's a friend of mine who was the founder of Freeway Football, he was just inspired by the guys playing football on the side of the freeway. And he decided, hey, there's something that we can do to help these guys. It was amazing to see these kids. They, they come rushing down to these little open pieces of, of land next to the freeway. And to see them just start kicking a ball, making goals out of cement bricks, and, you know, and just playing great football, they turned it into an amazing um, field where, where dreams can be made of. Kailicha is the single largest township in South Africa. There's over a million people in Kailicha. There's no formal football development in Kailicha, and we want to be the first. So freeway football is, is a social enterprise. Um, we have two components. We have the media component and the football component. From the media side, Damon Hyland, who's our professional photographer, he's partnered with a couple up-and-coming photographers in the township, mentored them, and from a business perspective, he's taught them how to make a sustainable business. So now they're up and running. Um, they've, you know, have jobs after jobs lined up. I'm a photographer, professional photographer. Uh, I come from Kailicha. I have my own company, Kanya Photo Production. I meet this guy, Simpiwe, and he told me about freeway football, and uh, I become a part of it because of Simpiwe. So in freeway football, we are taking pictures of the teams, and we know that the more we help other people, and also we help our skills to get more skills. Yes, because the sweat football it help, it will help us because we get to know more about about taking some pictures and also the sweat football will help other other photographers in Kailicha. Every time you must do the best. Is that why we really we love photography and we are do the best. From the football side, we've got into uh, coaching courses, which you'll see some of our coaches on, on our coaching course today. We're launching our academy in a few weeks' time. Out of our tournaments, which we've held and been able to do very successfully in Kailicha, we, we've selected the best players and they've gone in, come into our academy structure. The teams are being looked after in the townships and it's bringing hope through football, which, we, which we're very passionate about. Our first tournament was a huge success. It was an under-15 tournament. Yeah, we put on a great tournament at the Kuzi School, which is a beautiful, it's probably the best pitch in Kailicha. And for us, we want to give them the opportunity to have great facilities to play in and to showcase their talent. Freeway football, we're not trying to reinvent the wheel. We've sponsored four of our community coaches to go on to a trek course, which is training, res resourcing, and equipping coaches is trek's initiative through ambassadors and sport. And so today you'll see uh, the four of our coaches uh, having fun at their coaching course. And, and the long-term plan is that these coaches then come in and, and along partner with ambassadors and sport to run a trek in Kailicha. My name is Nkosai Kondi Asimoto, and I'm coaching 11 Express Juniors. Uh, I've got four divisions in my team. I hope uh, for the best for the club, and I see the club has got good future plans. Uh, about freeway football, uh, I spoke to, to the team manager, Leslie Julius, and then he said that there would be a tournament. Before the tournament was hosted, the, the freeway football guys, which means Morgan, they come to Kailicha for like something, it was like a soccer coaching clinic. Then that's where we first met with the freeway football guys. Came January and then we had the competition and the competition was good. I think it was about 16 teams in the competition. And unfortunately my team lost in the finals. It was tough, the competition was very tough. Yeah. I've met some photographers in the competition and I see the, guy, the other guys are here also. They had nice pictures for us and they took beautiful pictures and we saw them on the local newspapers as well. Yeah, this coaching course is very good. It's not only about football, it's about uh, 
You as a human being, also it helps you to grow as a human being. When you take it to the football uh, pitch, the way you must coach the youngsters, how you must prepare your, your, your training sessions, the physicality, the, the, the youngsters must enjoy what they are doing. You must be well organized as a coach. There is a lot of things involved. After I finish the course, we can be a good team after this uh, coaching course. I will win the next tournament probably.